Hey guys, welcome to the last round in uh, Face to Face Season 4. Previously we watched uh, Mihalic against Lehman. Mihalic winning 3-2. Uh, to two. In the next round, round uh, 40, Mihalic played versus Marcy. They also were cl clanmates at some point. Mihalic beat Marcy also with a score 3 to 2. Unfortunately, I could not find the replays for that round. And I don't have them. So we jump into round 41, the last one in uh, this season. Again, people voted for Lemon. Uh, maybe they thought it would be a good idea and a close round. But one thing uh, I've learned about this season, things were uh, very unpredictable because of the rules. Players could, could change uh, races from game to game, and I'm not even sure how uh, the map uh, elimination was done. Who decided? Uh, the deciders. Was it loser pick or not? I have no idea. Anyways, let's go into game uh, one of the final round in face to face season four. Face to face Russia. Season four. Played in 2009 through 2010. Twelve to thirteen years ago, over a decade. That's been a lot of time already. I believe some of the players which played back then are also playing nowadays. Mihalic probably plays from time to time. Well, he should. He usually plays in uh, tournaments. In the left hand side of um, the map, Lemon plays his main race, Imperial Guard. And Mihalic gets Elda for this round. I believe he will play all five games as Elda, his uh, secondary race back then, after uh, Space Marines. What would you have us do? Success. I guess he feels safe as Elda in the matchup. How can we help? Our mission is successful. In fact, uh, there are Elda players out there with, that uh, think Elda has no chances against Imperial Guard. We're about to see if that is the case. No generator opening from Mihalic, I like it. Very aggressive opening, or also quite safe, I'd say. With generator it's a bit risky. If Imperial Guard goes for turret rush, for example, Elda might be in trouble. Three Dark Reaper squads, nice one. Mihalic thinks he's playing Necrons here, or what? Slowly he's also getting uh, the points with two guardians. Lemon builds a turret on his side. Problem is the turret cannot move and chase those dark reapers. Mihalic can simply attack from this side. Command squad already struggling a bit. Priest half HP down. Commissar is out. But against three dark reaper squads now not sure if Lemon can do something at this point, because he built this turret. He had to keep some resources and invest in infantry. Well, he is not dead yet. Trying to fight in close combat these Dark Reapers. That's your only chance. Push them back from here. He had to bring a tech priest as well, maybe. Either shoot from inside the listening host or tie up a Dark Reaper squad. Tech priests with commander armor also can uh, survive 
for quite some time in fights. They don't die very fast. A commissar got killed. Mihalic feels confident in this fight still. We will not allow Lemon to build the listening post. And the situation already looks desperate for Imperial Guard. Mihalic knows he is in a... In a He's got the advantage in a very good position right here. Lemon under pressure and uh, when he knows he's safe, he places the generator. Eighty-five to zero economy on Elda against seventy-four to ten for Lemon. Lemon has the tactical control. Mihalic trying to use full potential of Elda in the tier 1. He also upgraded the Wraith Tomb and cast it on the turret. Goes for a sort of all in in tier 1. Very aggressive stuff. No mercy for uh, Imperial Guard. Renders this turret useless. And uh, Bone Singers can even be used to tie up the Guardsmen. They will survive for a few seconds, I believe. Good focus on this squad, almost got killed, uh, Mihalic switched focus before killing the entire squad, maybe a misclick. Mihalic is economy, 97 to 20, a third generator about to get finished and he can go tier 2. On Lemon, he did not even build the listening posts inside the base yet. He's got the outer points built up. This one, these ones were not built. He lost a lot of economy time. His tech priests were busy on uh, the open field trying to build this post. And now when um, uh, Lemon with uh, grenade launchers, he will uh, have no trouble dealing with those Dark Reapers. Unless they get badly outnumbered. A bad position in here, Mihalic has a good vision of uh, central uh, map. Lemon cannot go in. But he can fight if he, if he manages to keep the range. Grenade launchers outrange Dark Reapers in tier 1. Mihalic almost tier 2 and I believe he might go for a Falcon. That would be perfect. Lemon is not even going tier 2 yet. He is so far behind. Mihalic forced uh, him to invest in tier 1. Forced him to build that tactical control. As you wish, so shall it be done. Yeah, that looks sad right now for uh, Lemon. Still does not have enough power to go tier 2. Now he's getting it. Five and goes for it. Mihalic placing support portal right away. Unlike some other Elder players, they would go for fire dragons faster. Before support portal. And I have no idea why, because fire dragons get countered by anything. Imperial Guard. Be that a tech priest, a commissar, a priest, command squad. Unless you carry that fire dragon squad in a falcon. I'm afraid they won't do much. Oh boy, and also a support platform was built on the left side here. The outer Elda point. Upgraded to... I don't know how, how this upgrade is called, to anti-building and anti-vehicle type. Four minutes until taken hold victory. And took down in a few hits this uh, listening post from Lemon's base. Painful. Lemon could try and do the same here with a turret. It will take him a while and I guess he cannot afford it. He knows he's behind. 
Three squads, four squads of guardsmen. That's some nice firepower. It's about uh, time now. He needs some time to fully upgrade those uh, squads. And mobility, of course. He has to catch uh, both Dark Reapers and Fire Dragons. That won't be easy with a Falcon. Mihalic jumps in, and that's how you do it in tier 2. A Falcon with Dark Reapers can harass just fine. Also, some damage in here with the uh, Fire Dragons was done. LP1 down. Lemon was not prepared to defend in here. In fact, he did not uh, move his infantry at all when uh, fire dragons were attacking. Don't know why. Okay, he wants to decap the medical critical middle critical location. He's afraid of taking hold defeat. Two minutes left. And how do you catch those Dark Reapers? If Lemon will try to go in there, he has to split his army, I believe. Get his command squad and some priests in here to hunt the Dark Reapers. Now that the Falcon is busy with the Fire Dragons. Mihalic uh, saw this huge infantry mass from Lemon and he would uh, probably start massing vehicles instead of infantry. He also prepares the Warp Spiders slowly. And three squads of Warp Spiders will eventually deal with this mass of Guardsmen, unless they are tier 3 upgraded. Lemon gives up. His economy got destroyed. He lost two points in the base. This point, this one, and now th uh, the Relic. And he only managed to destroy this point in the end. Basically, he lost the map and he did not bother trying to do something further. He realized Mihalic got much more ahead. Twenty-six units killed by Elder, only seven by Imperial Guards. Kinda one-sided, yeah starts to finish and honestly Lemon felt demoralized throughout the whole game here looked like he's lost and did not know what to do second game on Blood River Lemon does not want to play uh, Imperial Guard after that first game he switches to Tau Empire. I have no idea about his uh, Tau Empire level. I know he played some Elder, but not sure about Tau. In the lower left position. Against Tau, Mihalic changes his opening a bit. We'll start with Rangers, two Guardians, Fleet of Foot and the Generator. Lemon, yeah, he also places a Generator and I guess he will go for the Vespids after this upgrade. Fire Warriors and Vespids perhaps. Yeah, Vespid's on the way. I like this opening, but I'm not sure if it works so well on Blood River. We return from exile. We walk the path less traveled. Yes. We walk the path less Rangers out, they would capture this um, strategic point. Our mission is successful. Until the guardians will get close to it. You have need. And the rangers are good at uh, t 
taking down Vespid morale. If Vespids lose morale, their damage decreases a lot and uh, generator can be saved. Farseer also on the way. Success. And if it gets out, she can stay in, uh, in the base. Also close to the generator. She will uh, disrupt the Vespids, will not allow them to take down, will not allow Vespids to harass at all. Well, Mihalic spotted the Vespids, now he knows he has to prepare for some harass. No detection yet, has to add the Warlock. Vespids go in. Now in the negative cover, Mihalic should have cast that uh, Psychic Storm. Had to make a short break here. We left on off on this fight. Lemon jumps in with the. Uh, Vespids disrupt strangers, guardians. Vespids without morale, one of them killed. And slowly Lemon is forced to retreat. He runs away with two squads of fire warriors from the Farsia. Difficult to out micro when they are so uh, close to each other, the squads of fire warriors. Positioning was not very good. The lack of experience speaks for itself in this fight. Another jump in with the Vespids. They have to tie up those Rangers in uh, close combat. Get focused by almost a full squad of Guardians though and they suffered. Had to re retreat, jump back. Good aggression from uh, Mihalic early game, that's when Elda has to be aggressive if they let Tau uh, attack uh, easily, it will be difficult in tier 2. So thanks to the Elder's mobility in tier 1, they can uh, still win this matchup. Considered uh, Tau favored, but still difficult on, on uh, Blood River. Not easy on this map. If Elda goes all in in tier 1, it's difficult. They can outmast Tau uh, army even in tier 1. They will not let them hit tier 2, outmast them, and Tau will die. Tier 2 on the way in the meantime from Elda, halfway done. Lehman only places the second generator now, yeah. Lack of experience with Tau uh, shows here. Lower economy, extremely behind in tech. Three squads of fire warriors though. Expensive stuff. And Mihalic hits tier 2 now at 5th minute mark. Arlequin on the way it will be devastating if it goes uh, successfully into that uh, fire warrior mass. Lemon keeps them very close to each other. The positioning is off. Definitely not good. The more experienced Tau players uh, position their fire warriors farther away from each other, so each squad can cover the other squad. If you play defensive like that. Support portal placed. There goes the Farseer. 
scout the map, spotted all those fire warriors close to each other, and the Arlequin untouched jumps in and uh, activates the dance. Dance of death, however it's called. A fire warrior squad almost down, escapes on uh, 20 HP. And Lemon realizes this is un unplayable at this point, he is behind. And gives up. I think he probably would have more chances if he played Imperial Guard here against Elda. Maybe try some sneaky turret rush into Elda. Could have worked. No need to give up on your main race, even if the matchups are not in your favor. I think you should still play your main, and you will have more chances than playing a um, favored matchup, but you have no experience at all playing it. Bad decision making here from Lemon. On a race peak, I'd say. Again, kinda one-sided on military, Mihalic dominated easily. Score 2-0 to zero now for Mihalic. Another Tau Empire versus Elda on Meeting of Minds. Okay, on this map the matchup uh, still Tau favored. Much better than on Blood River, I'd say, for Tau. But let's see, what will Lemon do here? On the left hand side opens with barracks and uh, generator, two stealth suits, two builders. On the right hand side Mihalic opens again uh, with rangers and the generator as on Blood River. Well, if that build worked on Blood River, it probably will work on Meeting of Minds too. Rangers and Farsi, it's safe. The technology of Tau makes us strong. From them on something different this time, uh, gets Tau Commander out fast. Too bad uh, only uh, two squads of stealth suits were made. Slower map control. Three stealth suits probably pay off really fast in here. So they might be worth at all times. We hunt with patience. We are here to fulfill our duty. Again, Rangers are getting one strategic point under control. No need to go towards Tau, as uh, you never know if there are Vespids that will jump in your base. However, Mihalic got a uh, minefield close to the generator. I'm not sure if it's close enough though, so from this side, Vespids still might be able to take it down without receiving damage. Looks like the minefield is not... Uh, as close as possible, as close as they could have been to this generator. Lemon uh, shows some aggression with his Tau Commander, no Vespids yet. Oh boy, that's risky. Two generators up for Lemon. He wants to do LP2 mass, I see. Economy boom. Probably will only make fire warriors. After that, or add the Vespids a bit later. Well, in the previous game, Vespids did not do anything at all. They only died and tied up the Rangers a bit. No harass at all with the Vespids. Where are these Rangers going? Forced to go back by this LP2. Half HP down already on the Tau Commander. No damage was done to the Yelda. Farseer full HP. Maybe he killed a Warlock. Didn't pay attention. 
And infiltration for rangers now being made. Mihalic wants to force Lemon to take out those Vespids to invest in them. Infiltrated rangers are painful. We hunt with patience. Well, maybe by the time they can be annoying, Me uh, Lemon might hit tier 2 and get the Pathfinders out. It's not mandatory to produce the Vespids if rangers are not a threat. Okay, he makes the Vespids still. Without Vespids here would have been uh, too risky. Maybe I wouldn't be able to even hit tier 2 because of the rangers. So yeah, he needs them. The only detection squad for Tau in tier 1, Vespids. No wonder this squad got like 3 jumps. Not only for uh, harass, but also in case they have to detect, they have to jump quickly and get in position. Psychic storm cast on the Tau Commander almost dead. 50 HP left. Parsir also down in HP a bit. Not so bad though. Can still survive. If she gets attached to guardians or banshees, whatever. Ideally to the Seer Council in uh, tier 3. Also a good option to attach it to the Dark Reapers. Mihalic decides to attach it to the Guardian squad, for now that will do. And goes tier 2, 110 to 50 economy soon. Builds the 5th generator. One critical location under control and for Tau. Also higher economy currently. And ahead in tech. Take notice, uh, notice of that. Lemon's uh, economy boom works out well for now. Now it depends how he will manage his units. That m means everything in uh, tier 2, tier 3 for Tau. You can have a huge army, but if you're not careful with it, you can lose it quick. You need to position it well and you have to react fast to Elda's mo movements. Especially if they've got Arlequins or uh, Fire Dragons, you have to be careful with your vehicles. We walk the path I less sense the enemy. Okay, broadside the battle suit made. Looks like Lemon wants to play uh, sort of defensive Imperial Guard style. Produces the Pathfinders. This broadside going towards the relic. A good unit, but very low mobility. Probably will get uh, in this position here. And they can uh, fortify into the ground somehow and uh, deal, mo deal more damage. And I think they also have... Uh, Increased range, I might be wrong though. Fire Warrior team, finally. The first squad of Fire Warriors. Vespids trying to do some harass. Uh, stealth suits were uh, idling for a uh, long time. They had to be here long ago. Falcon on the way from Mihalic. Upgrades, optics were made and armor now on the way. Vehicle beacon up for Lemon. Feels like he needs that uh, global upgrade for requisition. Very low income now. A lot of investment now in infantry and upgrades going on. And uh, squad reinforcements. Looks like Lemon lost the Vespids. Nothing to stop those fire dragons. And so Lemon loses two LP2s, one in uh, here. Not sure what destroyed it, Rangers alone or what? Seems so. Fields 
Tau Commander from 50 HP now regenerated to 500 almost. Falcon with the fire dragons is being annoying. Demon has to destroy the falcon and somehow kill those fire dragons. Almost lost the third LP2. Economy down a lot and uh, makes global upgrade now for, for uh, blue. Just what town needs. What Lemon also has to do is uh, place snare traps. A lot of snare traps with the Tau Commander. Instead, the Tau Commander is idling. Probably forgot about the Commander. And we see Tau suffering. Mihalic definitely in, in control of this game. He is not afraid. Loses the Fire Dragon squad, but it paid off anyway. Problems with detection. Pathfinder's not reinforced. Expensive. 75 to 20 for a Pathfinder. That's ridiculous. And they die way too quickly. You have to keep them uh, on the back lines. Even if they are called Pathfinders, they die so fast they can't really go in front. Has to rebuild quickly. Mihalic goes tier 3. He's not afraid of this Tau army, but he knows with tier 2 infantry he has less chances of killing that than with tier 3 upgrades on the warp spiders. Tier 3 optics and armor on the warp spiders will be game changing, I guess. They will jump, they won't die. And kill all those fire warriors quickly, I am assuming. Plus support from uh, Seer Council. I knew you would have need of me. And far seer tanking might work. Three squads of uh, warp spiders out now. Only need to be reinforced a bit. Research is Eldritch Storm for disrupting uh, Tau's infantry. No devil fishes. Oh, there are devil fishes, but they are not carrying the Tau army for some reason. And a barracuda now being added to the party will be necessary. Sky rays and drones. Could also be good. War drone harbingers. A drone harbinger would be great. Not enough power income though. Lemon saves for tier 3. And that is Kayon. We are taking damage. The enemy cannot hide. Mikhailic being patient with his um, Warp spiders, no need to be greedy and jump right away. He's waiting for uh, optics and uh, the seer council. Seer council goes in, sees that huge mass of Tau. Got marked by the pathfinders, uh, but it sunk a lot of damage anyway. Warp spiders jumping in, I, I believe the optics were already researched. Still a difficult fight for the warp spiders, have to jump uh, back. No chances in here, uh, warp spiders alone can't deal with those. No detection also. 
difficult situation for Mihalic, although he's ahead in tech. Not easy to fight. Barracuda are a prob is a problem in these devil fishes. Infiltrated units. Nothing to detect them now. Bad move from Mihalic with the Sir Council, it was not uh, reinforced. Had to also attach the Far Seer to the Sir Council, apply Eldritch Storm in that heavy cover, and then jump in with the Warp Spiders. It could have been a better engagement, maybe this time Mihalic will do better, who knows. He wanted to build also a big generator in there. Huge income, 184, I believe he's got both global upgrades on uh, requisition. 135 for Lemon, only now he rebuilds this. Or maybe it was built and destroyed again. Huge Tau Mass, I, I like it from Lemon. That's exactly what you do when you have a K on command post. Tier 3 uh, upgrade for armor. Gives Fire Warriors Terminator armor. Also adds uh, more durability to vehicles. More and more Fire Warriors from Lemon. Now it looks desperate for, um, for Mihalic. I'm not sure if he can uh, deal with this. He does not seem to find an angle, a decent angle for engagement due to that uh, range from Tau uh, units. Yeah, that's sick. Two fire warrior squads in here at base uh, dealing with the fire uh, dragons. A broadside battlesuit getting in here also. A Skyray was made and Barracuda's getting back to base to defend from that small harass. What is this? 4 HP. Uh, stealth suit should have focused. Yeah, got touched and destroyed. Another attempt from Mihalic to jump in and kill these fire warriors. Too, too much tower infantry though. A squad loses morale. And there's no anti-vehicle from Mihalic, big problem. Cannot deal fast enough with these uh, devil fishes. And looks like Lehman is victorious in this fight. Or maybe not, I thought two squads of uh, work spiders died, in fact they retreated, jumped back into the heavy cover. Sir Council is alive. Six members. And looks like Tau slowly but surely are dying. Got also stunned. Reinforcements getting back in here to support. 101 to 39 income. Mihalic's economy is still high, he can uh, recover slowly. He still has the chances. Jumps into the heavy cover. Still feels like the elder is outnumbered. Nice one from the Skyray, although it also affected some fire warriors. And Mihalic is forced again to retreat. Brings his uh, night wings to deal with the uh, Barracuda. About time, they have been idling in Elder's base for uh, a while. Sir Council, big problem. They have to be focused, marked by the Pathfinder team. There's no Pathfinders though, they got killed. Infiltrated Rangers dealing some damage in Tau's base. We seek the adventure that only war can there's no detection from Tau in the battlefield currently, it looks like the rangers went to get in here and disrupt uh, fire warrior morale. 
Lemon uh, with a superior force, but he's getting outplayed by the look of it. He cannot focus uh, good enough on defending his base. Mikhailic has vision, got this point, will get this one. 84 to 39 from uh, Lemon, he is lost. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 squads of fire warriors and a squad of stealth suits. Has to add um, a Pathfinder team. It's really missing in this combination. It is necessary for detection and for vision. Also that mark cast on uh, Seer Council would make it killable. Mikhailic realizes he cannot really deal with six squads of fire warriors and he goes and counter uh, harass into the Tau's base. And Elder's uh, army combination would work better for um, base trade, I believe. Got some vehicles also. Still no need to underestimate this firepower, it's huge. Now it's about who will destroy uh, the bases faster and who will be able to place a sneaky building somewhere on the map. I believe that would be easier for Elda to place a webway gate somewhere. Lemon does not have any bank to place an HQ. So I believe this base trade will be in Mihalic's favor already. The webway gate was placed, he's building economy on uh, Tau's base. Does not give up on economy like Lemon. Still 105 income for Mihalic and only 49 for uh, Lemon. Yeah, superior uh, fire power in here. But simply gave up on uh, chasing the Elder army around the map. No use of devil fishes at this point, a lack of mobility. Good luck catching that Elder. Yeah, it looks safe for uh, Mihalic in here. HQ will go down soon. And looks like Lehman does not even have any builders, only this one. Two devil fishes still on the battlefield. I believe uh, it's too late now to go back and defend, too late. HQ down, only barracks left. And no economy at all to build anything. Maybe deleting the Kion command post and placing a barracks in this corner would save the day. Yeah, Lemon stopped. Good decision making once again from Mihalic, no need to suicide into enemy army if you cannot deal with it. Looks like that's it. Yeah, Lemon is out. And so Mihalic wins the round with a score 3 to 0 already. Two more games left to watch though. On Moon Base, same matchup, Elda vs. Tau. I believe Elda can uh, exterminate Tau here in Tier 1 if they try hard enough. Map is too small, nowhere to run for Tau's infantry, and they can get outnumbered in Tier 1. In order to survive such a heavy rush from Elda in tier 1, I believe Tau has to start very aggressively. 
without generator, which is not the case here. Both starting with a generator. How can we help? Dark Reaper squad from Mihalic wants to capture this point with the squad, as we see on the rally point. This red dot right here. Command me to build. From Lehman, Tau Commander and Vespids. Good opening, but it requires some good uh, management of the Vespids early on and um, Commander, of course. The silent hunters are ready. Jetpacks upgrade. It delays uh, the first listening post for a while. It's an expensive opening. Can place it now. And Lehman wants to jump in, in into uh, Elder's base, maybe take down that generator. He does not know yet if there's a generator up. Or take down this listening shrine and decap it, try at least. Parser is out. Well, the, the stealth suit won't, won't be able to decap. Gets heavily focused, half HP down. And looks like Lemon gives up. Well, at this point he does not care at all. That's a 4-0 for Mihalic in the final round and one more game. Uh, Lemon decides to pick his main race in the last game. Hopefully show, sh will show a, a good game now. As you wish, so shall it be done. We are shaped by fate just as we shape it. Strange start from Mihalic with a generator and four guardian squads. Probably will upgrade uh, those grenades for guardians. This is a suitable build also against Sisters of Battle when uh, Sisters go Seraphims. We are here to fulfill our duty. Still, I think it would have been more interesting if Lehman played Imperial Guard in all the games. On Meeting of Minds it felt great for Lehman. At some point he gave up though. He refused to fight the Elder, did not want to chase those Elder units and went for base trade. Sir, yes, sir. How can we help? We are shaped by fate just as we shape it. My music is a we are here to Two squads of guardians got reinforced a bit. They will be used in fights. What would you have us do? The enemy is after there. capturing the points. The other two squads will continue getting the map. Uh, this is a bit unfair, I'd say. You are allowed to research Success. plasma grenade even without barracks. Yes. Why would you do such a thing? Why would you allow that? Other races need uh, barracks and armory for uh, researching the grenades. What would you have us do? Guard squad, ready. I'd say this is unfair. We are shaped by <laughs> Heavy bolter turret builds. Uh, Lemon wants to play offensively by the look of it. 
Maybe we'll take down this LP2. Should try and kill this tech priest. Y if the tech priest goes down, it will be easy to deal with the remaining Imperial Guard army. A squad of guardsmen uh, received a grenade and almost uh, got obliterated. Yeah, squad is down. Oh no. Well, almost. Almost got killed. The LP2 also got destroyed and uh, turret finished. Now Mihalic won't be able to fight on this side because of uh, the turret. Good job from Lemon in there. He's got all of his points. Has to build now two more listening posts and can safely also capture the relic on this side. Second generator placed from Mihalic. Another grenade cast into the guardsman squad, Commissar got killed. What would you have Still four the squads of uh, guardsmen are alive, four grenades, that's a lot of damage. Lemon cannot fight in the open field against this, he will have to stay safe behind his turret or a listening post until he gets armor upgrade at least, or uh, grenade launchers. Mihalic does not want to simply idle in the base during this time, trying to find some weak spots. Bad fight, no need, no need to fight in the open field against this, no chances for Imperial Guard. Staying close to listening posts, getting inside of them or uh, close to turrets would be the thing to do the right thing to do. War in this heavy cover also. Good. Smart usage again from Mihalic of uh, Wraith Tomb. He knows ca he can win uh, Imperial Guard's army if he can block the turret. I didn't even think about Wraith Tomb. Many Elder players also forget about this ability where they simply do not want to use it because of how broken it is. And this is an easy fight for Mihalic right here. Even if uh, Imperial Guard units sit in the, ne in the heavy cover, Mihalic won uh, the fight. But he will have to retreat because of this listening uh, uh, post upgraded. Builds a webway gate. Yeah, he wants to push Lemon back from uh, this position so he can get back his point. All guardsmen without morale, only command squad get doing some damage in here and the turret now started to shoot again. Mihalic started tier 2 and he also builds the aspect portal in a weird position. Six minutes until taking old victory. Another Wraith Tomb cast on the turret. Should go back and finish this tier 2. And Imperial Guard heavily outnumbered. Mihalic did not care about this turret, he simply blocked it and fought around it. Well done. That's the power of Helda. Cappers, only, only capping units from Helda, fighting everything, including uh, turrets and stuff. We have a sin carrier, but it looks like the fate of this game was clear. 
Mikhailovich was ahead in tech, he hit tier 2. It was ready much earlier than Lehman's tier 2, although Lehman was ahead in economy. But he wa was losing the fights. I'm not sure who won this, but I will tell the score in a moment. This was the last game. Let me check. Yeah, I think Mihalic won it. It's not uh, mentioned in uh, the forum thread who won uh, this specific game, but I think Mihalic was ahead. Lehman hits tier 2 almost without uh, the infantry. He was losing the fight, he was behind in tech. That's it with uh, this round and this face-to-face -face season. I hope you enjoyed it. I will leave a link to download the replays for uh, this um, season in case someone wants to watch them. They are for Soulstorm version 1.2. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned. More uh, Dawn of War 1 videos will come out soon.